this is Trishna ma'am. Today I am going to start the geometry. Geometry. Today I am going to start geometry. So in geometry, first I am going to start kinds of triangle. Kinds of triangle so kinds of triangle so everyone take out page number 155 in your mathematics books so what is a triangle so a triangle is a figure formed by three line segments so the figure is like this. One line segment, two line segment, and three line segment. So a triangle is a figure which is formed by three line segments. And we classify the triangles according to the measure of their angles and length of the sides. So types of triangle by angles. So there are three types of triangles by angles. Triangles by angles. So there are three types of triangles by angles. Triangles by angles. So the triangles by angles are, the first one is the Acute triangle. Acute triangle. Second one is the right triangle. And the third is the Obtuse triangle. So, every triangle, in every triangle, there are at least two acute angles. Therefore, the third angle of the triangle can be used in classifying a triangle according to its angle. So, first, acute triangle. So the triangle whose all angles are acute. All angles are acute. So what is acute angle? Acute angle means the angle whose major is less than 90 degree. Which may, whose major is between 0 to 90 degree. That type of angles are called acute angles. Isn't it? So the triangle in whose in which all the angles are acute. Means, suppose here in this triangle, if this angle is 60, if this angle is 60, and suppose if this angle is 30, then this is a acute angle triangle. Sorry, not 30. So, 60, 60, 60. So, here all the angles are acute angle. Means, it is less than 90 degree. So, this type of triangle, the triangle in which all the angles are acute, that triangle is called acute triangle. Then next, right triangle. So the triangle here in which one angle is right. This angle. This is a right angle, isn't it? 90 degree. This angle is a right angle. So this type of triangle is called right triangle. The triangle in which one angle is right. 
that triangle is called right triangle then obtuse triangle the triangle in which one angle is obtuse one angle is obtuse obtuse angle the angle whose major is more than 90 but less than 180 that angles are called obtuse angle so if this the tri the triangle in which one angle is obtuse that triangle is called obtuse angle triangle obtuse triangle suppose this angle if this angle is 120 degree this is more than 90 isn't it so the triangle in which whose one angle is obtuse that triangle is called obtuse angle triangle and this is how we can classify the triangles according to angles so the first one is acute triangle the second one is right triangle and the third one is obtuse triangle the triangle whose one angle is acute one all the angles sorry all the angles are acute that triangle is called acute triangle the triangle whose one angle is right that is called right triangle and the triangle in whose one angle is obtuse that is called obtuse triangle now types of triangle by side triangles by sides so triangles can be classified by the kinds of angle they that they contain and triangles can also be classified according to the number of congruent sides they contain so now I am going to classify the triangle according to sides. So the triangle according to sides are the first one is isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. So the triangle in which two sides are of same length. The triangle in whose two sides are of same length. Suppose this is a triangle. And suppose this two side. 3 cm. 3 cm. And if it is 4 cm. So here in this triangle the two sides. The length of two sides are same. So this type of triangle are called isosceles triangle if only two sides of a triangle are of same length then the triangle is called an isosceles triangle next equilateral triangle equilateral triangle equi lateral triangle so the triangle whose all whose all sides are same means the length of all the sides are same suppose this is a triangle and it's all sides are same if it is 3 3 3 this side is also 3, this side is also 3 and this side is also 3. So here the length of all the sides are same. So this type of triangles are called equilateral triangle. So if all the three sides of a triangle are of same length, the triangle is called an equilateral triangle. Then next, scalene triangle. Scalene. Scalene.
so the triangle whose all whose the length of all the sides are different the length of all the sides are different the length of all the sides are different that triangle are called scaling triangle suppose if it is 3 this is 4 and this is 3 so here the length of all the sides are different this side is 3 this is 4 and this is 6 so the length of all the sides are different that triangle is called scaling triangle so if all the three sides of a triangle are of different length then the triangle is called a scaling triangle and this is how we can classify the triangles according to sides so how many types of triangles are there according to sides there are three side types of triangle according to sides there are they are isosceles equilateral and scaling so triangles are named according to the measure of their angles and length of their sides so types of triangle by angles are acute right and obtuse and triangles by sides are isosceles equilateral and scaling now i'm going to start quadrilaterals so now i'm going to start quadrilateral so a polygon formed by four line segment so a polygon a quadrilateral is a polygon a polygon formed by four line segments is called a quadrilateral. So a polygon which is formed by four line segment is called a quadrilateral. So let me draw some figures. Square. Square is a quadrilateral. Rectangle. It is also a quadrilateral. Parallelogram. This is also a quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral is a polygon which is formed by four line segments. So this is square. This is square is also formed by four line segments. One, two, three, four. Squ rectangle. One, two, three, four. Parallelogram. One, two, three, four. So this is also this type, uh, this square, rectangle and parallelogram are different types of quadrilateral. As there are several types of triangles, there are several types of quadrilaterals also. So parallelogram, parallelogram, parallelogram. Parallelogram. So a parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which opposite sides are equal and parallel. So this is a parallelogram and in this parallelogram, this opposite side, this side, this side, this and this side, this opposite sides are parallel and equal. So a parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which the opposite sides are equal and parallel. So the definitions of the quadrilaterals, triangles by sides and angles, it is given in your book. So you note down from your book. I am just explaining it. So next, rectangle. Rectangle. So 
the parallelogram. Whose opposite sides are equal and all the angles are right. Right angle. All the angles of the rectangle are right angles. Means 90 degree. And its opposite sides are also equal. So this type of quadrilateral is called rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram. Rectangle is a parallelogram and which all angles are right angles and its opposite sides are equal. Then next, rhombus. So rhombus. So a rhombus is a parallelogram in which all four sides have the same length. So it is same as the square. The square has also four sides equal. And the rhombus has also four sides equal. So there is a difference between the rhombus and the square that I will discuss later. So the rhombus, so a parallelogram in whose or whose all sides are equal. That parallelogram is called rhombus. Next, square. Square. So, a square is a parallelogram whose all sides are equal and whose all angles are right angles. All angles are right angles. 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree and 90 degree. So, the difference between the rhombus and the square is in rhombus all the sides are equal but its angles are not 90 degree. But in a square all the sides are equal and it's all the angles are 90 degree right angles. So this is the difference between the square and the rhombus. So the difference between the square and the rhombus is a square have the same length. The square, a square is a parallelogram in which all sides have the same length. And a square can be defined as a rhombus in which all angles are right. So this is the difference between the rhombus and the square. So if you are asked, what is the difference between a uh, parallelogram and a rectangle? So the difference between a parallelogram and a rectangle is that a parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which all uh, in which opposite sides are equal and parallel. But a rectangle is a parallelogram in which Opposite sides are equal and all the angles are right. Means the angles of a rectangle are 90 degree but the angles of a parallelogram are not 90 degree. Like that the angles of a square are 90 degree but the angles of a rhombus are not 90 degree. So this is the difference between the square and rhombus and parallelogram and rectangle. So now I am going to start. Perimeter. So everyone you are familiar with perimeter. So a perimeter is the distance around a plane figure or the length of the boundary of a plane figure. So now I am going to um, start perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter of rectangle. So how to found, find a perimeter of rectangle perimeter of rectangle so rectangle i'm going to draw a rectangle so the rectangle is a figure plain figure whose opposite sides are of equal length this is the length and this is the breadth this is the length and this is the breadth 
so land and land bread and bread so its opposite sides are equal so <coughs> how to find a perimeter we can find a perimeter of a rectangle by using a formula so how we can find a perimeter perimeter of a rectangle equal to perimeter of a rectangle equal to 2 into land plus bread. So here L denotes the land and B denotes the bread. Suppose if the value of the land and the bread is given. So here suppose if its land is 4, 4. And if its breadth is 2, 2 cm. So how we can find a perimeter? We can find a perimeter using this formula. 2 into length plus breadth. So 2 into, what is the length? The length is 4. Plus, what is the breadth? The breadth is 2. 2. So 2 into 4 plus 2, 6 equal to 12 so 12 centimeter so what is the perimeter of the rectangle the perimeter of the rectangle is 12 centimeter let us take more examples suppose the length of a rectangle is 6 centimeter and its breadth is 3 centimeter so you are asked to find a perimeter so we will find a perimeter p equal to 2 into l plus b so 2 into what is l l is what is the value of l the value of l is 6 and what is the value of b the value of b is 3 so 6 plus 3 2 into 6 plus 3 9 that is 18 18 centimeter so the perimeter of this rectangle is 18 centimeter this is how we can find the perimeter of a rectangle now perimeter of a square so a square is a plane figure whose all sides are equal whose all sides are equal so here how many sides are there in a square there are four sides in a square and the uh, this is one side 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 so here there are four sides so all the sides of a square are equal so how we can find a perimeter of a square so how many sides four four into length of one side suppose if the length of the sides are given suppose the length of the sides are 9 centimeter 9 9 9 9 so 4 into length of one side you are asked to take the length of one side so the length of one side is 9 centimeter so 4 nines are 4 nines are 36 so the perimeter of the square is 36 this is how we can find a perimeter of a square if the length of the side is given. Suppose you are asked to find a perimeter of a square whose length is 12 centimeter. You are asked to find a perimeter of a square whose length is 12 centimeter. So perimeter equal to 4 into length of one side so 4 into 12 that is 48 centimeter so the perimeter of the square is 48 centimeter and this is how we can find the perimeter of a square so the perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into length of one side now I am going to start perimeter of an equilateral triangle. So 
so perimeter of equilateral triangle so a triangle whose all the three sides are of equal length equal length 4 4 4 so that uh, this type of triangle is called equilateral triangle here the length of all the sides are equal all the three sides are equal so how we can find the perimeter perimeter equal to perimeter equal to 3 into how many sides 1 2 3 there are three sides in a triangle so 3 into length of 1 side so what is the length of one side 4 3 into 4 that is 12 centimeter and this is how we can find a perimeter of an equilateral triangle let us take some examples so if the length of the side r 13 cm if the length is given length of one side all the sides not one side the it is a triangle of 13 cm equilateral triangle of 13 cm its length is given so how we can find a perimeter perimeter equal to 3 into length of 1 side so 3 into 13 that is 39 centimeter so the perimeter of the equilateral triangle will be 39 centimeter and this is how we can find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle so perimeter of an equilateral triangle equal to 3 into length of one side hope you have understood the video so i will complete the exercise uh, in the next session and thank you